So I am back with the latest news surrounding Cyberpunk 2077 and well I will state I do think things are now looking up instead of down after the first week we have had with this game's release. Man it's been tough on CDPR. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So this past week we have seen a lot when it comes to a game and its release. We have seen what many people would call one of the worst starts to an AAA games release ever. But at the same time and on the other hand there are many many gamers out there who enjoy this game and think it lives up to the hype while at the same time one would agree the game was released too early. Most of the issues dropped upon CDPR due to this game on the OG Xbox One and PS4. Upon I myself playing on the OG Xbox for about 30 minutes, I would agree that the game should never have been released on it. I can't even see the lifts. Am I even on the right floor yet? Yeah? Can I not jump? So I landed. I stood there for a couple of seconds. And then I died. But in saying that, people on the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X for the most part seem to be having a decent time. So how do you pull it on one and not the other? Either way, it was released and while due to CDPR not allowing folk to test the game and release reviews, with it on the OG consoles, people in reality playing on these older systems only had footage CDPR shared to go with. Upon them purchasing the game and experiencing what I did, I am not surprised many folk wanted refunds and well guys, it got to a point of Sony pulling the game from the PlayStation Store which hit world headlines. Like literally folks, here's me watching repeats of Top Gear switching over to the 10 o'clock news and I noticed the reporters talking about cyberpunk. That's how big this news is people. Now CDPR have come out and apologised about their antics in regards to not showcasing or allowing the media to review the game on OG consoles and mentioned that patches are inbound. We've had two so far, both have really improved the game for the better for sure. The second one we'll have a quick look at in a second. Now with Sony pulling the game from the PlayStation Store until further notice, I do think CDPR will have to act quicker now to sort the ongoing issues out, like I said which mainly affect those old generation consoles. Xbox have also come out with a warning when purchasing the game from the Xbox Store as you can see on the screen now it states, users may experience issues when playing the game on the Xbox One consoles until the game is updated. Which I guess is the truth, and well it definitely isn't as drastic as pulling it from their store, although I, if I'm honest I thought it might just happen. Now yesterday CDPR dropped another patch which saw another 17 gigabytes of basically fixes applied to consoles. The PC update as I make this video hasn't been released as of yet. Now there are many changes to come with this patch as you can see on the screen now, there are multiple quest fixes, which if I'm honest I didn't really experience any that I remember. But with the amount of fixes there are here, there's definitely issues there. We see gameplay fixes, visual fixes, UI performance and stability and many many more. Now if you want to read through them all you're welcome to, pause the video if you want. I mean these dropped last night when I was in the middle of recording a live gameplay ending with Pan Am which was incredible which if you missed you'll find it on my channel. But yeah this is by the way the 1.05 patch and it should be the latest one you have until they drop another on consoles as of right now. But yeah, as I said at the start of the video, I do think things will gradually start to get better now. I mean, yes, for sure, the negativity surrounding this game has outshined the positives. And trust me, in my opinion, there are way more positives to give this game. It's just a shame more people are interested in slating it. Completely ignoring the masterpiece, it will, in my opinion, eventually be. It is, like I said earlier, just unfortunately it was released early. And I've said it myself and I talk the truth and ain't fussed about hurting feelings. If something needs to be said I will say it and I've always been the same. And although this is a game I'm mainly covering right now, I'm still going to call it how I see it. But yeah, I do hope the negativity surrounding this game now starts to slow down, CDPR get a break and can work on performance patches, even more so to sort this game out for those still having major problems. But yes people it's definitely been a crazy first week and a bit for sure. Guys tell me down below your thoughts on this game, has it let you down? Do you think it's a masterpiece in the making? Let me know. 
But on that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis from nudes, guides, glitches, exploits, absolutely everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.